And we're going to go to our first young writer delegate, um, Ruth Ennis, uh, is studying children's literature in Trinity College Dublin. She has written for Children's Books, Books Ireland, the University Observer, the UCD Caveat Lecture, the Dublin Book Festival and the Blue Nib. She aspires to be a children's author and has a particular interest in poetry and short stories. She currently works as the marketing and publicity officer for the O'Brien Press, which is a great place to be uh, because they uh, work a lot on children's books, don't they? Yes. Okay, so please welcome Ruth, please. Um, thanks very much for coming. Um, I just have three short poems for you. First one is called The Skating Rink in Belfast. Knees straight, arms bent, I am beckoned to the edge of the rink to receive advice I did not ask for. In 1960, he is awkward and eager on the ice as he approaches the girl on white skates. His orange reflects a warning to her. Don't get distracted, don't get in the way. She leads him skating backwards on the smooth surfaces while he holds her hands and scrapes up what is behind him. Dancing on unsure footing, he offers her a chance to teach and he follows her blindly. Fearless and steadfast, she steadily drains the orange from his skates and bleeds a white confidence into him. His partner unties the laces of her boots and passes from one life to the next. His memory of frozen time becomes forgotten after a fall renders him immobile. He visits the rink each week, watching the orange and white blades blend into a pale sunset he longs to have. Having learned, having taught, he beckons me to the edge of the rink to offer advice I did not ask for. I listen and skate. Knees bent and arms straight. And uh, this one is called Leaving Home for Christmas. It's three in the morning when I drive home from work. I pull into my space at the back of the house and stare up into the sky. My warm breath bruising the cold air as the only barrier between a clear sky and a thousand stars. My breath taken. I try to take it back with a photo from my phone, but it cannot capture the fine, finite flashes of light. So I stare a bit longer before I go to bed. We're putting up the Christmas decorations today, but don't worry if you're busy packing. That won't fit into the car. You'll end up having to make two trips. School bag in hand, she leaves home in the early morning. Call us anytime you need us. Anytime. Rejections. Neon lights from bridges and snowflakes onto buildings. I take my photos, plenty of them, and I share them with her. She says she loves them. It's midnight and I stare up to the sky. The air isn't as cold, but I can see no stars. Thank you. Uh, this last one is called An Ode to the Audience. To the brave souls sitting in the front row, you will constantly be kept up on your toes, always saying yes. It's rude to say no when you are asked to participate in the show. I'm kidding. Yeah. To the brave souls in the back, you think, I don't need to keep track of what's happening on stage. Pick up the slack. It's too late for you to sneak out the crack of the back door. Ah, to the latecomers with no cushion seat to rest your bum or a pillar to lean on, please join the fun, but in great discomfort. You should have just run. To those who can't turn off their mobile phones and still has that Nokia ringtone, causing everyone here to snicker and moan, you think, I should have just stayed at home. To those who were dragged here tonight to watch a bunch of poets, you were right. We're lovers, not haters. We don't want to fight. Gonna soak on the car ride home? You might. <laughs> to those who love a Q&A at the end of every event, you really do spend your hand up in the air looking to defend that point you made in an argument with a friend. <laughs> to the wonderful staff and volunteers by the sides for lending us your ears. And when the room empties and finally clears, you can go get that well-deserved pint. Cheers. <laughs> to the families and friends who support us for building, helping us build a fort where creativity can be without a court of judgment. You see, you are a safe port. To everyone here in this room who finds solace in listening to the tunes of us lost darlings singing to the moon. This sweet community 
you would love it too. Thank you. Does anybody remember the skating rink in Dolphins Barn? Yes. You know, 13 and, um, oh no, my son's here, I can't be saying these <laughs> It's where you went on dates and things. Um, in the skating rink in Dolphins Barn and fell on your arse. Well, I did anyway. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for those. Uh, Gamil Mahalit. Um,